Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.30, and I'm gonna start this YouTube video with a little clip of my puppies. <laughs> Go get it, Woodson. Go. Go on. This is just standing there. <laughs> okay, so I just woke up, washed my face, and brushed my teeth, all that good stuff, and now I'm gonna have some coffee, do my prayer time, organize the day, pick up a little bit around here, because it's kind of messy not too bad though but I just like a clean apartment and then I'm gonna take you guys along with me in the day cuz I have a lot of things planned it is Saturday it's gonna be a nice day here it's gonna be a great time I'll see you guys in the next clip Okay, so it is now 7.30 and I am going to go meet Luke because he forgot his work phone. So <laughs> I'm gonna go drop that off and I'm gonna take the puppies with me and I'm gonna see if we can get them some puppuccinos because I am gonna go to Starbucks even though I already made coffee, but I will just use that as uh, iced coffee later, I guess you would say. And that's a game plan now. So I'll see you guys maybe at Starbucks. <laughs> okay, so I am here and I thought I was going to work um, to Luke's uh, work site or station or their main job site, I don't know. But instead I'm at a gas station that is obviously not open right now. That's what I'm doing. Uh, so we're just waiting for Luke and then we're gonna go get some Starbucks Classic that he forgot his phone like this is so classic What do you think Remy? What do you think what's oh, okay? <laughs> the babies Do you want to look outside? Oh, yep, you want to look outside Remy is definitely a mama's boy, but Woodson um, They both listen to me, but I can tell Woodson is like Luke, you know, he also loves his grandma. So Amy, if you're watching this, he loves you a lot. I mean, you know that. <laughs> it's so cute though. Oh, they're like gonna jump out the window. Hey, okay. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Name is Josiah. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I get a venti cold brew with an extra shot of espresso and sugar-free uh, vanilla? Else. Could I also get a splash of almond milk in that? Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. It's 514, I'll see you through the window. Thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, that's alright, thank you. You too. Okay, so I guess no puppuccinos. Remy almost just climbed on top of me. But that's my order. That's my typical go-to. Probably didn't need to get an extra shot of espresso today, but we got a good day planned. And I can't see if there's anybody behind me because of Remy. Oh, that's good. Um, they made it really, really good this time. But I guess it's... Uh, not gonna be nice maybe not because it started sleeting on my way how do i get out of here it started sleeting when i was driving to go drop off luke's work phone because i thought it was gonna be nice today so we'll see oh there's a texas roadhouse right here i tell you i love ann arbor like it has everything but it's not packed together really tight. However, campus, oh my. Okay, so quick little story. I used to go to UW-Milwaukee in Wisconsin for my undergrad and campus there, it's kind of like, mm, I mean, all campuses are pretty wild when it comes to like people 
students just crossing the road or whatever because they're like, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cross because I can cross because I have the right of way. And sometimes you can't see them because they're in the blind spots and they will take the risk of getting hit because then it's like insurance and stuff. But anyways, Milwaukee had that really, really bad. And UW-Madison, which is like what I'm wearing this hat as because I represent Wisconsin. Um, I don't, um, they are way, way worse than like Madison. Madison's really, really bad for that too. Um, and Madison's like a super compact, well not super compact, but it's a very laid out campus that's super busy. Um, whereas Milwaukee is more compact, but you guys, Michigan, this isn't Michigan State. Luke has made a very good point that I need to know my difference between Michigan State and Michigan University, I guess you'd say. And Remington. It's an insane, insane campus. It's like Milwaukee plus Wisconsin plus all these other campuses combined into one on steroids. And it's terrifying because I I know what it's like to be a student like that, like in that kind of atmosphere. But Remington, he is scratching the seat right now. Oh, okay. And I have to get that taken care of now too. No. Um. Anyways, yeah, that's my story. I don't. I actually don't know why I told you guys that because I got distracted by the dogs. See how good Woodson is? He's such a good boy. Remy's still kind of a psycho. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that little story. I still don't know why I actually told you, but maybe you found it interesting. I don't know. But now we're gonna go home and we're gonna drink this coffee. It's so tasty. And <clears throat> clean a little bit. I'll let you guys know. It's gonna be a great day either way, even if the weather is not nice. So we'll see. But I'm gonna probably do abs, hoping. It's not busy. I don't know though. I've never been to the gym on a Saturday at this time, or this gym on a Saturday. So we'll see. Abs coming at ya. I've noticed that my squat has, a, um, obviously like this goes without even saying, if you have stronger abs, your squat is gonna be better. So I've been training abs a little bit more, <laughs> um, strictly to improve my like compound lifts basically. But, I mean, abs are a great thing. They keep your whole body in line and check. And so that's what we're going to do. I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, you guys. Here is today's ab circuit. Um, I started doing this about two to three times a week. And I have noticed difference. It's already in my ab development. But this first one is going to be uh, leg extensions. So as you can see, my knees are slightly bent and I'm using my lower abs to raise my legs. I'm not swinging, I'm keeping it controlled, I'm not hitting the ground. And I did 15 to 20 reps of this, took a little breather, and then go right into the next exercise, which is a weighted Russian twist. Don't have to go too heavy on these, I just have a 10 pound plate. Um, sit back on your butt, activate your lower core, and then use your actual abs to rotate your body. Don't swing. It looks like I'm swinging here because of the angle, but each time you do it, you need to flex your abs on the side. So that's something you kind of have to develop, and by doing these more often and using a weight, you can actually squeeze your abs a little bit more. It's all about squeezing and contracting when it comes to abs. All right, this next one is one of my favorites just to keep kind of like the love handles, I guess you'd say, in line. So with this, you're gonna do, um, keep. you notice at the beginning, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are in line and your back is straight, and then you put your feet back and you literally rotate your hips from side to side. Now you can't see, but I am moving my feet with each step so that I don't slip back so that my shoulders can stay where they're at. But very, very effective, very good. Again, with this one, you gotta flex your sides and it's really effective. Shoot for 20 on each side, and then you're done. All right, that is it for the day. I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna enjoy this food. Luke just got home, so we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna just hang low, I think. Maybe go see a movie. If we do go see a movie, I'll take you guys with obviously not into the movie theater, but 
uh, that's the game plan for now and I'm gonna eat and make sure that you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss any more workouts or fitness tips or anything like that with me and I'll see you guys in the next one.